Hey YouTube, welcome to Viking Preparedness. I am Pastor Joe Fox. <clears throat> hey, I was thinking and actually posted on the internet today on a couple different boards. You know, right now it's all gray and, and nasty out here. Let me show you. It's kind of cold. And, uh, you know, people are probably thinking about reading a good book by the wood stove or something. But really, <clears throat> and right now it's what, February 8th? Uh, right now is the time to start thinking about growing a garden and I would really encourage y'all to grow a large garden this year um, you know grow a big one now big is a relative term big means different things to different people hey whatever it means to you grow a big garden this year um, you know now's the time to if you haven't grown one before go out and figure out where you're gonna grow it uh, it's not too early to turn your sod over if you're actually going to have to break ground for a, a new garden plot. Uh, it's not too early uh, or too late even <clears throat> to go and get some mulch if you're going to do the back to Eden garden type deal. <clears throat> it's certainly time to be ordering your seeds. And if you're going to start seeds, uh, it, it's time to start your seeds too. I can't start seeds. I've tried it several times. My house is just too cold. And now, could I do it? Yes, I, I could put a heat lamp on and things like that, but to me it's just in the too hard to do category, so I don't start seeds. We're fixing to have a, a greenhouse down at Shofar Mountain, and uh, we'll be starting seeds probably next year, um, once we get that thing up and running. But, grow a lot of food. You know, <clears throat> in the past I've, I've used methods that have worked for me. I've made compost piles that worked great. You know, I lived in suburbia and I just fenced off the corner of my yard. I already had a corner chain link fence I just added two more pieces of wire and I would stick my leaves and my dog poop and everything else in there and it made beautiful you know rich hummus soil um, and I know somebody's gonna complain about that on my comments big deal it worked and I grew great vegetables and I'm still alive <laughs> um, so compost piles have worked well for us I've done raised bed gardens raised bed gardens worked really well for us especially in a wet area like the Pacific Northwest uh, we've done the square foot gardening method uh, and lately we've been into the Back to Eden Garden method and you can look all these up on uh, Google and read all about them and learn all about them. Uh, I have friends who have had very good luck with um, container gardening, uh, using everything from old gutters they pulled out of the trash and drawers from a, a, you know, a, a old dresser to, to pots and, and you know, buckets and things like that. So, hey, you know, just start planting stuff. Start growing some of your own food. Wow, there's two dead coons laying in the road right next to each other. Um, grow a lot. You know, gardening is not rocket science, but there is a learning curve to it, and, and it's time for y'all to get on that learning curve. So if you have to talk to some people or do a little bit of reading, go ahead and do that. You know, figure out what grows well in your area. Don't overthink it. Don't get bogged down in all the complexities of it. Go plant some garden stuff, you know, plant some veggies. Um, grow some of your own food. Grow enough food that you can give it away. Give it away at church, give it away at work. You know, just give it to your friends, can some, dehydrate some, and eat it. It's good for you. <laughs> when you grow it, you know there's nothing weird in it or on it. Um, you know how it was treated from the time it came out of the ground until the time it ends up on your plate. And so, hey, now is the time to start thinking about getting that garden going. Now is the time to start gathering your seeds and, and thinking about things. And so I encourage you, get out there and do it, and I will see you out there.